Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi here from beautiful Atascacita, Texas and in this video I'm going to show you how to determine whether or not zinc will replace another metal in an aqueous solution. You will need a periodic table, an active series chart, and you're going to need a polyatomic ion chart. The assumptions I'm going to make is that you can write chemical formulas, you know how to write and balance chemical equations, you understand stoichiometry, and you know solubility. And of course, if you don't understand all of these completely, there are videos on my channel on each of these uh, topics. All right, let's look at the problem. Determine the reaction for the following aqueous solutions when a small piece of zinc is added to these aqueous solutions listed below. Manganese nitrate, iron 3 nitrate, and nitric acid. Now one of the first things you want to do is focus on the word aqueous. Aqueous tells us that they've been dissolved in water, that all three are soluble, and we want to determine will zinc react with these and replace the metal. So the first thing we need to do is write out how they separate into ions and then check the uh, chemical reactivity of each of the metals. So we're going to need a activity series chart. Here's one I've uh, brought up on the left. And you'll know, notice it goes from most reactive at the top and least reactive at the bottom. And we need to remember uh, a number one rule. An ion cannot replace another ion with a higher reactivity. So if, a, if an ion with a lesser reactivity is put in with an ion of a higher reactivity, the lesser one cannot replace the higher one. Let's write out the ions. We have uh, mangan manganese 2 plus, iron 3 plus, and hydrogen plus. And each of these have uh, with them nitrate ion. Will the zinc replace them? Well, there's the zinc and there's the manganese. Now notice manganese is a higher ion in reactivity than zinc. Therefore, it cannot replace it and nothing will happen. There will be no reaction in this case. The zinc will just still be there. Let's look at the next one. Iron is right there. And notice iron is lower than zinc. Therefore, zinc will form zinc nitrate and we will get iron solid. And now let's look at hydrogen. Hydrogen is lower than zinc. Therefore, it's going to react. We're going to get zinc nitrate and hydrogen gas. So we do see that in the first one, nothing's going to happen. But in the other two, we're going to get a separation of the uh, iron and the hydrogen. And they're going to come out of solution and the zinc is going to take their place. They're going to trade places. It's basically a, a single replacement reaction. All right. For the recap, we determine the solubility. We write out the ions. We determine the reactivity and we remember that an ion cannot replace another ion with a higher reactivity. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at MrKazi.com and be sure to check out Mr. Kazi's World or MrKazi.com and subscribe to my videos, all right? Happy eyes, everybody.